President Akufuado will soon release a list of nominees for deputy ministerial appointees after consultations with the substantive ministers on their deputies as required by Article 79, Clause 1 of the 1992 Constitution. The delay in releasing the list has created anxiety and some sort of panic within government. But joining us is learning that the presidency will make the list available this uh, will make the the list available today and we're looking forward to receiving that particular list so we can have a conversation uh, about it we'll hear from political analysts shortly but presidential correspondent elton Bobe is joining me right now with more hello elton yes Gucci. elton tell us what this uh, meeting we understand happened last night is about all right so the meeting uh, so the gifted there's been a series of meetings right uh, the last one was uh, just last night. The president was out of the country over the weekend. He was in Congo, Brazzaville. Uh, but before that, uh, after opening the national dialogue on illegal mining, uh, he met all the designates for deputy ministerial positions. Uh, and some of them have confirmed to us uh, in, 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 in interviews that indeed they've invited, they've been told that uh, they will be named as deputy ministers for various uh, ministerial positions. And for now, I'm just waiting for the official communication to come from the president so that they can start their work properly. And this meeting took place uh, Wednesday evening, after which the president embarked on that uh, foreign uh, tour in Congo Brazzaville, a special guest of the integration of their president. So uh, that was Wednesday evening. Now, what I'll be picking is that there was also another meeting uh, last night, which ironed out some differences some had raised about the list, and some people who were working with them. I'm talking about some of the attentive ministers. Now, the information we have is that everything is now done and dusted, and in, the, in, in some few hours to come, we'll have the full component. Elton, looks like I'm losing you there. Let me, let's try this once again. Uh, Elton, if you can hear me, you were just telling us about the fact that it looks like, like everything is done and dusted. All we have to now expect is the list out. Exactly, Gifty. I was talking about the fact that all differences, all concerns, I'm told, that have been ironed out uh, at a special meeting that uh, was called by the president uh, to address some concerns that had been raised. At, at last Wednesday's meeting, which looked at uh, the, the the nominees for the various deputy ministerial positions, so that is well done. So in the next, in some few hours, we are likely to hear the official announcement that will come from the president. Even though in the media cycle we've been told of several names, speculations uh, going about, uh, you know, mm -hmm. giving giving indication as well. This is when what we have done so far here at Join is to look at. Uh, their list from our sources and also from the people who were at that particular meeting when they who have been contacted and have given their consent to be appointed as deputy minister. Some of them have confirmed to us. Now, at that particular meeting, President Okubo anyway declared that apart from the Energy and the Finance Ministry, all other ministries will have just two deputies. So, apart from the uh, the Energy as well as the finance ministry, all other ministries will have two, or will have three, will have two deputies. So energy will have three deputies, and finance will have two, uh, three deputies. Now this afternoon we received information that the uh, former deputy minister in the first administration of President Kufuor, the Charles Adibuahem, has been elevated to the position of a minister of state at the finance ministry. So apart from him, there will be other two deputies. And we are told that Abena Osiya Sarif, the member of parliament for Atiwa East as well as John Kuma, the Member of Parliament for the District Javan in the Ashanti region, who will assist the Finance Minister as two deputies, whilst Charles Edinburgh is elevated as Minister of State at the Finance Ministry. For the Energy Ministry also, President Kufadi may declare that one of them was going to come from the Western region. We are told that the Member of Parliament... Elton, sorry, if I may just jump in there. I want us to stay a little bit on the, on the, on the Finance Ministry. Um, let's let's just stay a little bit there. So what it means is that we'll have three other persons working with the finance minister, except that uh, Charles Edouard is in the position as minister of state. Do we understand the the dynamics of that? It, what's the difference here? 
Will he be operating from the presidency, as usually the ministers of state have done, or will he be at the finance ministry? Of course, he will be operating from the finance ministry, and this will not be the first time somebody has been appointed as minister of state at the finance ministry. Remember that in the president for fourth, uh, second term in the office, Dr. Anthony Abutos, uh, the former member of parliament for Tapu Pantono, uh, who has served as deputy minister in the first term of President Kufuado, uh, President Kufu was elevated to the, to the status of a minister of state at the finance ministry. And President, President Kufu back then said that it was due to his competence and the fact that he was able to organize the finance ministry in the absence of the substantive minister. So this will be the second time we will have somebody uh, in that position as the Minister of State at the Finance Ministry. And Charles Odubo and obviously will be from the uh, Finance Ministry as the Minister of State. So clearly he will be above uh, the, the two deputies, I've been saying, sorry, okay. and John Kuma, the Member of Parliament for uh, Etusu Jamin in the Shanti region. We are okay. also been told that there will also be, that there's likely to be another person nominated as a Minister of State. And this time, my information, the information I'm picking is that a Member of Parliament for Equiapem South Obi Amwa, who served as Deputy Local Government Minister in the first term of the President of the Administration, is being considered for a Minister of State as the Local Government Ministry. So that's also something that we are learning okay. and we are waiting to uh, see the confirmation Confirm. of that particular one. Right. So, uh, but so let's move on to the energy. The energy mm, and the yeah. Finance Ministry, all other, all other uh, ministries will have either one or two deputies. You are talking to us about giving us the information about uh, the energy ministry, the details of the names we are picking up as those going to the energy ministry. So for the energy ministry, we are told of the member of parliament for second D, uh, Ejapa, uh, as one of the deputies. Also, Dr. Amin, uh, Mohammed Amin, the member of parliament for Karagaf, he was a deputy minister for the energy ministry and was so we go in there as a deputy minister for energy. And also we have picked the name of uh, William Urekuedu, who was a deputy minister in charge of power in the uh, first term of president of Kufuwa, the member of parliament for Exidia, Central South India Shanti region, going back to the same ministry as a deputy minister for energy. So the energy ministry also has three deputies, William Urekuedu, uh, Japan minister of uh, second D, the second D MP, as well as the Karaga MP, uh, Dr. Mohammed Amin. Uh, these are the three names we have picked uh, as deputy ministers for the energy ministry. And the overall minister, as, as you are aware, is Dr. Maji Poko mm. and, and Elton, do we know about any other, are there any other um, ministries that you'd like to share with us uh, that uh, uh, come to you off head at the point, at this point? Otherwise, um, I, I mean, if I know you have the list there. If we, if we can go through, we can go and through that, the list. That is, Exactly, that, that is what I'm trying to do now. So <laughs> okay, okay. So, so, so that's and, fine. And, and then go through the list for you, Gifty. Very well. So that's Elton Brobe. Elton Brobe is our presidential affairs correspondent. Now, what we do know is that the list, the substantive list of who becomes a deputy minister in this last administration of President Ekufuado should be out. In fact, we understood that it would be out about 3 p.m. It's so a, a little bit, a little about 30 minutes. Uh, a little more than 30 minutes above three o'clock and so we're expecting that confirmation pretty soon but elton is now going through for me the names that we have that our sources have shared with us some of the people involved uh you know we've confirmed uh this conversation has as you know has been had with them and so elton is just taking us through the names he just told us about the energy and the finance ministries which uh, as elton posted will have about two between two to three ministers but every other minister every other sector will have about one between one and two elton do you have the list to take us through now so this is the list we have and this is based on people we've spoken to people who were at this uh, meeting last wednesday where the meeting was more like an orientation for them ahead of the, the, the official announcement that we are expecting today. So okay. I spoke about the finance ministry and the energy ministry. Now I can go and talk about the trade and industry ministry. So the names we have here include uh, the, the, the member of parliament for New Jersey South, uh, Michael uh, Perfit, uh, as well as Herbert Kraber. Herbert Kraber used to be a press secretary to President Kufuado somewhere around 2012. And he is back in government. Uh, in the first term, he was government spokesperson on governor. And now my information is that he's been nominated 
as a deputy minister for trade, that's never strap up. And uh, the other nominees are Michael Oshibefi, the member of parliament for New York in South in the Eastern region. Education, John in Team Fodjo, Reverend John in Team Fodjo, and it's Jun Ampopo. Um, they are not new to this ministry, especially it's the Jun Ampopo. Um, John in Team Fodjo is joining. And the sector minister, as you are aware, is Dr. Ayawa Dicho. Mm. For the Attorney General and Ministry, uh, Minister of Justice, we have two deputies. Diana Asunaba Dapa, currently lecturer at Kempa, and Alfred Shayabu. Alfred Shayabu is based in Sinani Rebona Hapo, the private legal practitioner. Uh, he came to prominence in the run up to the 2020 election where he contested the parliamentary primaries at the Sinani East constituency of the MPP and lost to the former chief whip, uh, the, major, the former chief whip on the MPP side, Kosi. Asoma Chairman, uh, who is the member of parliament for Sunyani A. So that's the end. Then this time we are told that uh, he's been nominated. Indeed, I spoke to him last Friday. He confirmed that he was at a particular meeting. And uh, when I spoke to him, he was actually on his way to Sunyani, he went back, back, uh, back and back hmm. and then come back to Accra today uh, to start his work as a deputy as only general. And did most of these people, which I can tell you for a fact, that even before uh, we hear the official name, they've been working in an unofficial position with some of these means assisting them learning on the job ahead of the former announcement and subsequent vetting by parliament. I can move to gender, children and social protection. Mm -hmm. The name here is Lariba Tuwira Abudu. Uh, Interior Ministry is Nana Iyia. Youth and Sports Ministry is the former regional minister for the Hapo region, Evans Mobie, now a deputy youth and sports minister designate. Defense is uh, Amangpa Menu, is a member of parliament. Wewe is uh, Asante Boateng. My information is that this is the former uh, chief executive of the Ghana Publishing uh, Company. He also contested the Nkoko parliamentary primaries and taken of the MPP and lost. And he's very much known for his role in Let My Vote Count after the 2012 election. But this time, my information is that he's been nominated for the Ministry of uh, Wewe. And that's Asante uh, Boateng. Employment and Labor Relations, right, we could go a bit. Fisheries is mostly the name. Roads and highways, we have two, maybe in Canterbury and Saving Jack Lula. Communication is Ama from a member of parliament for Kumau, the Asante region, and then Lance and the Lands and Ashara is also Benito, Ousubio, and Duka. Uh, Duka, member of parliament for Chakan Shuayem in the Western region. Foreign affairs, we are going to Thomas Bomba, Thomas Bomba, and one Apechum Sapon. Food and agriculture, Yao, Tremponado, and Hadi, Tafiru. Then transport, we have uh, uh, Alhas and Tam, Tam Poli and Tafiru. Adam. For tourism and creative arts, we are learning of our own uh, Mark Okwekuma. So these, these are the names that we have. Uh, we have official so confirmation. Far. So far, uh, well, well, we'll cut this. We'll cut this uh, uh, sound bite and then wait for the confirmation and then put it side by side, juxtapose it and see how it goes. But uh, Elton, uh, how more? How 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 much more do we have to wait? Because we understood that it was going to be out by three. It's past three already. Are you picking up any information why it's sort of delayed? So I've been checking uh, with people I know at the Jubilee House. In fact, I've been checking with the communication directorate at Jubilee House. And what I've picked is that this is a communication coming from the President of the Republic, and he will decide when he wants to bring it out. But what I've been told is that it is likely to come out today, and hopefully before the close of day. Remember that when the President released the name of the substantive minister, I think he waited to around 5.30 p.m. before bringing it out. Maybe they are looking at peak time on radio and on television to get the attention of the nation. That's why it can be the delay. But what I know is that all the issues surrounding this particular matter uh, have been dealt with. There is no outstanding issue. Earlier, we were told of some ministers who are not happy with the names uh, or, or the individuals that have been penciled to assist them as deputy ministers in their ministry. Because according to them, despite the constitutional provision that says that. This must be done in consultation with the substantive media. Some of them, uh, my information, were not happy with the fact that they were not consulted. They were only told of the names of the people on Wednesday. Mm. And they had concerns about some of these things. And I'm told that yesterday's last night we can iron out some of these differences. So, barring last minute, we are likely to see confirmation of 
of about 99% of the names that I just mentioned uh, when the official list come out. Great. Elton, we're standing by for that list. Thank you so much. Elton Broadway is our presidential affairs correspondent there, bringing us up to speed on some names, the names that we've picked up as those who will be appointed as deputy ministers or appointed into deputy ministerial positions. We've taken you through what we have. We wait for the president to release his list.